Digital marketing is the selling and promoting of products, services, or content through the use of the internet and modern technology. Digital marketing is similar to traditional marketing with a few key differences. Digital marketing, for instance, tends to cost less, especially if you're selling a digital product. Whereas traditional marketing not only costs more, but typically you also have to pay for infrastructure costs such as physical storage. Another massive difference, and this might be the most important thing, is that digital marketing is incredibly measurable. When it comes to digital marketing, you know what your return on investment is for your ads. Whereas with traditional marketing, a lot of the time you don't know what your return on investment is or whether you're even getting a return on investment at all. Think about it, if you're running an online ad, you can easily track that data. Whereas if you put up a billboard, it's very difficult to tell whether that's actually gonna move the needle and make a difference in your bottom line. So not only is digital marketing more measurable, but it's also a lot more predictable. And this means that it's much easier to scale your business if you rely on digital marketing rather than traditional. Another difference is that digital marketing tends to change often. For instance, the way Facebook ads were run five years ago is completely different than the way they're run now. And so in order to stay up to date on the latest trends in digital marketing, you have to be actively practicing it. Whereas traditional marketing, for the most part, stays the same over time. Of course, there's always gonna be little differences here and there, but for the most part, it's been pretty much the same for the last 50 to 100 years. According to a study by 99 firms in 2019, content marketing, which is a type of digital marketing, has a lower cost of about 62% against the practice of traditional marketing while being able to generate three times more leads, and they were able to generate these leads faster and more predictably. According to a study by Smart Insights in 2020, more than half of the world is now active on social media. The world's population is 8 billion, so that means over 4 billion people are currently on social media. That means billions of people are using different search engines like Google or social media websites like Facebook or Instagram. Now, there are many different types of digital marketing, and I'm going to briefly go over all of them. But with that being said, if you are interested in becoming a digital marketer, I highly recommend you check out my friend Seth's course. He does have a free masterclass, which I will link down in the comments as well as the description below. Seth has helped thousands and thousands of people become digital marketers, and he has tons of testimonials and reviews on his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram. So definitely check that out if you want to learn more. But with that being said, the first type of digital marketing is going to be social media marketing. This is the use of social media platforms to interact with potential and existing clients. This type of digital marketing is powerful when a business finds a way to create a trend or to be viral through a public event or through the influence of famous people. This is also commonly referred to as content marketing. Although this is typically a slower way to get clients, it does help to build your brand and it also establishes trust with the people who are following your account. The second type of digital marketing is search engine optimization. This process requires a website owner to create changes in and out of his website to increase his or her website's search ranking. This allows people to organically find a company's website. And there are websites such as nerdwallet.com that are valued at hundreds of millions of dollars just from the free traffic they get from people searching Google. This is another relatively slow way of getting clients, but again, it increases brand recognition as well as trust. And if you stay at it for long enough, you can get a steady stream of people who find you through Google. And then you can retarget those people with ads. The next type of digital marketing is search engine marketing or SEM. This is where you pay search engines like google.com in order to show your ad to people who are searching for particular terms. Next on the list is going to be email marketing. This is where you craft emails to send to your customers in order to advertise discounts or products and services that you want to let them know about. This type of marketing has an insanely high return on investment. Many estimate that for every $1 spent on growing your email list, you end up making over $30. And companies hire people to write the copy in these emails, design the banners for the emails, as well as track the data. Last, we're going to talk about digital advertising. This is where you might see an ad on a social media platform like Facebook or YouTube. These ads can be incredibly annoying, but you have to realize that the only reason that companies can offer free services such as YouTube is because of the fact that they have these ads. Now, as you can imagine, digital marketing is an incredibly valuable skill set to learn. 
companies have been spending less on traditional marketing and more on digital marketing for the last decade. And that trend is likely going to continue for the foreseeable future. This is one of the most valuable skills that you can possibly learn. And if you wanna see how a 16 year old was able to get a job as a digital marketer, check out this video right here.